Okay, there we go. Um, you guys, uh, let me see. Yes, I'm, you guys can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, I'm just, like I said, I'm going to go to a sample file because for some reason your guys' file, probably because it is disclosed, was not letting me go ahead and um, do the process of it. Um, so basically what you guys would do would you go to forms, you would go to your page four of your Erla. And here's where you would put any other mortgages that you would be adding to this loan as your Cali HFA. So here where it says 4B, other new mortgage loans on the property you are buying or refinance, you're going to go ahead and hit you all additional loans. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and add them here. So in this case, I already had done a sample. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them so that I can just kind of show you guys how you do it. You would hit this little plus button. This is going to appear and it says verification of additional loan is for what, you know, it's if we have borrower one and borrower two, you know, you can just do both. So it'll grab the borrowers that you're actually getting the loan for, because of course, you most likely you're going to be doing this loan for more than one borrower. Here you will go ahead and put Cal HFA. As you scroll down, it's going to tell you what is an account type. So Cal HFA is a mortgage. It's not a HELOC. So you'll put mortgage on here. Lean position will be second because, of course, um, our loan here, our first loan will always be in first position. It does not necessarily have a monthly payment, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that. And it's going to ask you what your loan amount um, or HELOC credit is for. So, of course, we would go ahead and grab our loan amount. So let's say, for instance, it's um, the, for the down payment. Let's say the, uh, the house is 500000 and we're going to do the down payment, which is 3.5%. Um, we're going to do 17500 and that's going to go here where it says loan amount HELOC credit. So we're going to do 17500 And you'll see that this already went ahead and updated my LTV on here. So my, my LTV is 96.5, but my CLTV is 98.833. Now here it is going to let you know... Um, you know, if you need to source the funds or any of that, you don't need to do that because, of course, we know that it's um, it's a uh, federal agency. You know, it's another institution. So you can put that here on source of funds. It is a federal agency. Um, now, it will ask you, what is the amount applied to the down payment? Well, it is a school amount. So $17,500, it's going to be towards the down payment. This isn't a HELOC, so this does not apply. It does not have a monthly principal and interest or interest within five years. So you don't need to put that on here. Um, it is, um, of course, a, a, a mortgage with an interest rate, but this is going to be separate. So because this is a wholesale loan, we are just going to put the amount that needs to be a part of the mortgage. If you are going to add closing costs, again, you're just going to hit the little add button. You're going to do both. Sorry. You type in Cal HFA. And then again, we're going to do what account type. It is a mortgage. It is in third position. And now we're going to look at what the interest. So in this case right now, I know Cal HFA only has the 2% um, zip. Um, so we're going to go ahead and that is based off of your loan amount. So in this case, we did, you know, 500,000. I mean, I know this one is our LTV is a little bit different because I went off of 500,000. But I think it was 750. So let's just go off of this one times 3.5%. That's 26,250. So I'm going to change this just so you guys can see how it's going to look on your CLTV, it's 100%. So if you go to your 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 third, which is your uh, your closing cost. So right now, Cal HFA only has available the 2%. That is off of your loan amount. So it's at, it's your base loan amount. So if we go 750 times 96.5% is 723,750. And we're gonna do 2% off of that. And that's 14,475. So again, here where it says loan amount HELOC, we do 14,475 and amount, and this is not applied to the down payment. And again, it's a, um, where is it at? So I usually just put federal agency, but um, they'll, they'll change that for you. It's not a big deal. I mean, this is not something that is going to hurt your loan, but as you can see, your CLTV has changed now here. So your LTV is going to be 96.5, but it will have a CLTV showing that you do have a second and a third loan. Do you guys have any questions on that?
I muted you guys just because um, there was a little bit of echo, but if you guys want um, to ask questions, you can unmute. Yeah, I was just looking on the site for Cal Hafa, and you said that they offer two per, up to 2%, but I see in today's rate, they're showing up to 3%. So I just wanted to confirm. So it depends on theirs. Um, right now, 3% um, zip is saying NA. What that means is they're not offering it right now for lock. Yeah, well, okay. Well, it, it's showing it on there, so maybe I'm, I'm Yeah, looking I'm looking at, at it right thing. now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about FHA. Conventional does have it. FHA does not. If it says NA, it's not available for lock. Yeah, which I'm means looking at my phone. It. it doesn't show it. Maybe if I look at it on the screen, but my phone's not showing that. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you guys don't necessarily Quick need question. Uh -huh. on the On the original uh, down payment, I thought it was, we're supposed to do 1%. Um, and hit them with that on the VTI. It's a deferred interest. Right. Yeah, so so you don't you, in you're talking about the the interest rate for the first. Yes. Yeah, but just remember we're not we're not collecting that interest or anything like that. So we don't need to place on your additional. It doesn't give you an actual percentage to place on here. And the reason for that is because you do not have a monthly payment um, principal and interest on that. Your first okay. is going to have the monthly principal and interest. Your actual second and, and third position liens are are here placed here on, on your page four, four B. Okay. Yeah. So you don't place that. Your actual um, since this is a wholesale, your actual lender, when we're going through that lender, is going to place the note and deed of trust with that that yeah. percentage of interest, whether it's one percent or two percent. Right now it's one percent with my home. Right. So they're the ones who's going to provide the note with that one percent interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do we supposed to add that to the on the other on the borrower summary or the where it says uh, for the DTI or or do we not do we just skip that altogether? Remember, there's no monthly payment, so therefore there is no DTI hit. Okay, so it doesn't hit on. Okay. Yeah, it's only on your CLTV. So uh -huh. your LTV will always read ninety six point five, right? And then your CLTV will change based on the on the if you're doing a second or a third, because of uh -huh. course if you're doing Cal HFA down payment only, and we remove this, then your CLTV is at a hundred percent. Okay. You know, but it, but we're adding a third, which is your two percent closing cost. If we did three percent, your CLTV would go up. Got it. Yeah. So this right here is going to be showing you um, and your internal people here, like, yes, we are doing Cal HFA. There's a second position. They're getting that second that is going to apply to the second. Um, but if you notice, this is asking for a HELOC draw, but this is not a HELOC draw. It is a mortgage here. And then there is no monthly payment. So you don't have to hit him with anything on the DTI because it is a deferred payment. Got it. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any other questions? I know my DTI here is a little funky, but it's because of a sample I was using. When I tried to go into yours, um, George, it wasn't, uh, for some reason, it wasn't letting me in. So I just went to a sample, a sample okay. file. Do you guys have any other questions? No, I think that was the, the main thing. Yeah, no. and then, uh, Jael, and yeah. then uh, when we run Fannie or whatever underwriting, it will recognize and it will spit an approval considering these two loans already, right? Yes. Yes. And this is why you do want to put those lean positions and all that stuff, because what will happen is the system is going to, um, uh, you know, automatically, excuse me, automatically read the LTV and see the CLTV on here. And it reads that they're deferred interest as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, awesome. I think this is what we needed, you know, just for, okay. because we're going to be doing a lot more of these. So we need to know how to input it so that when we give a, a DU approval, it already considers all those things. In, right. you know? Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, no problem. Definitely. And, and do you mind, I know you recorded this. Do you mind sharing this with the whole team, please? Yeah. So, we don't, we don't absolutely. Bug you. Go back and review. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> even, even with that, you guys can call me. But um, yeah, I'll definitely let um, I'll let um, David know that we did this one on one, so that he can download it. And he usually adds it. I'm sure you guys. Um, if you were in, in the, let me see if you guys can see this. Um, if you guys can, um, uh, if you guys were in the call the last time, if not, don't worry. Um, we do have an iCore lending YouTube videos. 
um, I know um, David sent it out, but we Bye. do have all the videos here. So any classes that I have done and you guys click videos, you'll see all the videos of all the classes that we have done. But yeah, I'll definitely have them add here as well as send it over to you guys so that way you guys can um, take a look at it anytime. Uh, hi, I'll also, um, aside from the Cal Halfa programs, uh, is there a recording there on any other down payment assistance programs or even grants that we can offer? Because I know that there's a lot of lenders out there offering grants which also is really enticing to the buyers because they're non-repayable. So just curious yeah. if we have any of those. So we do have this DPA town hall that David held um, that has all the information about uh, the down payment assistance programs that we do have. So we do have uh, Chinoa, um, Max One, Cal HFA, and I believe those are the ones that we have right now. Okay. I'll check into what those grants are and I'll send it to him to see if we can possibly get lined up with those as well. Yeah, the more the better, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more question now that we have you on the phone. Arlene was asking earlier, uh, some lenders out there have the no income, you know, verification program. I That that sounds to me like a, the VOE program, but she was she wanted to know if we have anything like that. Um, I would have to definitely ask because, you know, programs kind of come and go. Uh -huh. Um, so I want to see if we had, we did have the verification of employment, uh, the VOE only one for a while, but lenders stopped, um, they stopped, uh, accepting those, um, for after, after a while. So I do have okay. to just double check. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be great. Cause I have a realtor who herself, she's personally interested in pulling cash out of her property, but paper wise, she won't qualify. And then bank statement she won't and then i have another client who also wants to do a refi but she's a w-2 and she won't qualify by herself so that's why i'm thinking okay is there a program that i can offer them uh that doesn't require any documentation so a voe would be awesome would be perfect okay yeah let me go ahead and find out for you guys for sure because like i mentioned usually when we have um, a new program come in you know david will have me go into his office but i'm gonna be honest sometimes we don't follow up on the ones that um are going out the door because <laughs> we do try to milk them, but we can definitely, um, let me find out for you. Are you guys good? Is that, is that what yes, you guys wanted? Yes, thank you so much. No, absolutely. So like I mentioned, you, um, I don't know on this one why they did do a second and a third for you, George. You don't necessarily need to do that internally because the wholesale lender will do that for you. Um, okay. but if anything changes, I'll keep you guys posted. But in, in, in this case, this is where you guys would add your, um, your okay. CLTV, your, your second. Yeah, no, I didn't add any other loans to that file. I think I, that that's was why done I asked there. you, cause it's yeah, how we used there. to do it <laughs> years <Yeah>. ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But that's, that's why I kind of asked you. Cause I was like, you know, just so you saw, if you saw those, but don't worry about it, but this yeah. is where you guys would, would add the second and third position loans. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. I remember the other loans. Okay. All right, All right. guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so Absolutely. Much. Anytime. No thank problem. You. Awesome, girl. You're awesome. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank oh, you bye. so much. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Bye.